hi and welcome in this video let's talk about the ftp manager so if i scroll down here under files we are going to learn about how to use the ftp so that you can connect into your website and you can upload files download files and edit files using your ftp client so in the last video we saw how you can use the file manager so if you don't want to use the ftp you can actually use the file manager to edit your files, compress your files, download your files, upload files, and all the other functionality that you saw on the file manager window. So if you don't want to use FTP, go ahead and use the file manager because one of the advantages of the file manager is that you can extract compressed files right there on your file manager, but with FTP, you can't do that. You cannot extract them via FTP. So let's go straight ahead and start by creating a new FTP account for the website that we created. So here we are, you'll need to give your FTP, a login username, and you're also going to need to give it a password and your password must have all this, okay? So make sure your password has all this so that you can create your FTP account successfully. So I will call mine one, since I don't want it, to, I want it to be at the top of the list of the FTP accounts that I have. I will start with one, or I can even start with two, R Wahoa. And then I want to create it for bizanosa.club. And let me enter the password. And then you can see it has automatically put this directory in here. But I know I don't have this user. So let me just remove that so that I can give them access to all the files which are inside of this directory. So if you want them to have access to everything inside of your public HTML, just remove that. If you want them to have access with everything inside of your root folder, then just remove that. But I want them to have access only to this folder. So you can also give them a quota just to make sure that they never ever exceed the amount of space that you put in here the amount of megabytes that you put in here. But in my case, I'll just give them unlimited because I'm going to delete this website as soon as possible. And then just click on create FTP so that you can create the FTP account. So here we have the username. So you can change the password. If you forget the password for this, you can just come here and change the password. Configure your FTP client. Let's see our FTP details here. So FTP username there. FTP server and then the port so you know your password and you only need access with this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into win SCP so there are a couple of HTTP there are a couple of FTP clients that you can use filezilla is there we have this we have cyberduck for Mac users then we have filezilla for Windows we have this for Mac but I normally use win scp so if you just go online let me search for win scp win scp then search for win scp you can download it and use it whatever i'm using a vpn forget about that you can just search for win SP, win scp and use it to access your website so in my case i'm using win scp So I'll need to add a new website and I'm not using S SFTP, I'm using FTP and the host name. What was the host name here? Okay, let's first of all take the username, copy the username, paste in the username and my password, I already know it. So I'm just going to, even with this, I can take that copy let's that be our host name and then so the host name is that and then you put in your password then let's try if you want to save it on WinSCP you know what I can save this save with the password but this is not safe I never do this but this is not safe 
if you save with the password if somebody gets access to your computer they're going to have access to your ftp so if i try to log in let's just hope that everything is okay so that it can log us in and there you go you now have access to your files so these are all your website files if you want to if you want to add anything in there if you want to edit anything you can you can copy it into your computer and then edit it or so you can just use the default WinSCP editor that you set so like if i want to edit this it will get downloaded and then i can edit anything let's say i just add a space in there and then i save as soon as i click save you see it is down uploading the file so progress zero and then it is done so that's how you can upload download everything okay if you want to download anything you can just select it and select download you can duplicate it you can move if you want to move it anywhere else you can rename things so that's how you can use your ftp to access your account so the most important thing for you is you create the account okay once you create the account you will use this as your username and then you will use that as your server all right and the port is 21 and make sure that whichever ftp client you're using then let's say i click here on new session whichever ftp client you're using select the protocol of ftp because you're not using S ftp okay so that's it for this video in this video you've seen how you can connect to your account using ftp so as i said if you don't want to use ftp you can just use the file manager because the file manager is very easy to use once you log into your account you can upload download extract any files that you need to work with at any point so that's it for this video and if you have any questions feel very free to let me know i don't know what i should cover next in the next video i think we're pretty much done with the most basic things that we can deal with so i think one thing that i haven't covered is databases so in the next video let's go in and create a database so in the next video we're going to see how to work with databases and i'm going to see you in that next video